Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in today. You're now watching and speaking with Leighton Chanu. Leighton Chanu is a 22 year old from Kingston, Jamaica, who is actively trading live in the Forex market. And I'm here to just go ahead and just give you a brief cap on my journey so far and how it has been for me, the struggles, the success, everything. Just trying my best to be as transparent as possible and making you guys understand that this is something for everyone that you can do. So, yeah. Forex, as you may know, as you can go to Google and search, <laughs> it's, it's trading the foreign exchange market and foreign, Forex meaning foreign exchange. And it's literally just trading currency, meaning you buy currency at one price and whether you buy that currency at a price with a prediction to sell it, which in our interpretation, when you sell, you're anticipating the price to fall. And you know whether you do that or you buy it where you're anticipating the price to, to go up, it's just you trading currency um, throughout any time period that you wish. Because you, know, you can hold trades for a minute, you can hold trades for days, you can hold trades for weeks. So foreign exchange encompasses that whole thought of you going into a trade say you go for a certain price and you're anticipating that the price will rise you go ahead and you buy you hold that whether you want to hold it for two weeks you hold it for two weeks and then after that two weeks you close in profit it's pretty simple it being long term or short term forex that is is totally dependent on each individual's mindset in reference to what they expect to gain from it because in the market you can make trades on an intraday basis where you'd be trading as a day trader and that will involve you basically just going ahead and trading in short term basis just to in in order to basically get a profit from those short term trades however you have long term traders who are considered as swing traders who will open a trade today and more than likely close it next week you know depending on expectance of certain news from the market that will affect the price so it, it's totally dependent on each individual's own subjective preference. In reference to the difference between the stock market and the forest market, we can understand that the stock market is susceptible to recessions. I always use this common scenario as the main difference because if there's a recession right now, your stocks and shares will depreciate. If there's a recession right now, we as forex traders can earn okay so while you're there sitting with your stocks and saying oh what am i gonna do i'm there saying all right we're gonna short all these pairs you know that we're gonna short every single one of them we're gonna short the euro we're gonna short the, the usd because they're all gonna depreciate you understand so that's the main difference we earn money both ways stock markets they only earn money one way by the value of the stock appreciating short refers to the execution of selling when 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 traders say they're, they're going to short a trade or going to short a stock or they're going to short something it means or it suggests rather that they're anticipating that that price is going to fall so they're going to sell foreign exchange trading is a business and i don't personally think that you would go into a business if you know that you're going into gamble. You understand? People who have that perception that it's gambling are more than like individuals who are misinformed or mis are uneducated on what exactly it is because foreign exchange requires you to have a specific plan. It requires you to stick to that plan. And you doing that is very far from gambling. Gambling, based on what I'm aware of, is just guessing. I understand and trading foreign exchange market or even the cryptocurrency market or even the stock market is far from just guessing unless you go in to you know give away your money but if you're serious about it you will have a plan you'll stick to that plan and you will ensure that once you stick to that plan you are profitable so that's that's my interpretation it depends on where you live um for me personally, it is a good thing 
and don't bash me <laughs> because I believe it's a good thing because if you are making US currency though you have to be acknowledge you have to acknowledge the fact that you need to be paying the taxes so people who are trading you have to look into that as well trading is not a bed of roses you have to pay taxes too so even though you're making your money in the US it is basically better in my opinion to have uh, an increasing exchange rate because that would be basically me living in Jamaica paying my tax in Jamaica but still not having to worry about our currency like depreciating because I don't earn money in our currency. I'm a part of a company, the company is called B and that company we basically host new traders we basically coach them we have a platform that provides you with an academy and that academy will give you training sessions that you can go online to access at any point in time throughout the day you also have live sessions where you're, you're being trained by master and professional traders so this whole system and network that we provide you with can facilitate you as a new or beginner or even experienced traders to come and reinforce or learn, you know, the, the craft. And also, we also have an app that many people or many companies don't have right now, which where this app provides you with signals on a consistent basis. So even you as a new trader right now, while you're learning, what that app will do is send you notifications, just like WhatsApp, when you get a WhatsApp message, that app sends you a notification and you can just go ahead and enter the details because it's so user friendly that once you click it and you see all the information all you have to do is copy and paste and as a new trader that's all you have to do while you learn firstly you would need a bank account that's the norm. i find that most jamaicans nowadays like even when because i was telling you earlier about the company that i trade with all the people come to us and they want to start however when they when when they check you don't they don't have a bank account they don't have proof of address, they don't have documents to show that they are that person. And you're like, then how do you want to trade? It's not, it's not a thing that you can just go into and just run and say, oh yeah, I'm going to start today. You have to have documents to prove that you are yourself. You have to have documents to prove that you live a specific place. And you have to have a bank account more than obviously to ensure that whenever you make money, you're able to go ahead and withdraw your money, put into that bank account. And it has to be a bank that your broker is comfortable with because all the people have banks. I had, a, I had an international bank that when I tried to, you know, go ahead and use a couple of brokers, they were like, no, we don't accept that bank. I didn't go into much detail, but yes, you obviously need money to start. I have seen people who start with varying amounts, whether it be less than a hundred dollars, and they say, oh yes, we've, you know, we've done great things, you know, but you have to understand that everybody has a different process. So yes, those people are inspirations. However, in order for you to, to be like actually successful, I wouldn't say that you should start with less than $500 US in your trading account because it, it starting with that amount can provide you with enough security for you to know that if you are to make a mistake as an amateur you have room to grow most people when they try to start with fifty dollars they make one mistake and that's gone and then that one fifty dollars gone and all of a sudden oh, trading is not for me i'm so demotivated and and you're like bro it's only fifty dollars and it's understandable because everyone is li living a different life. Everyone has, you know, different expenses, different bills to pay at the end of the month. So it's understandable. But like being realistic, we wouldn't suggest that you start with less than $100, less than $200. Because starting with less than that amount is just setting up yourself to be demotivated if anything goes wrong. You can make a living off Forex, although you should not only depend on one stream of income. I think a lot of people get the perception that you can start and have that one stream of income and become a millionaire and that, that's totally not the case. In order to be a millionaire, you have to have at least six streams of solid income that you know that are providing you with consistent um, capital that even if you don't make money from trading this month, you can provide yourself with capital to fund your trading account again because you trading uh, alone and then you lose that money, then what are you going to do? <laughs> you're gonna start for the rest of the month? Nah, that doesn't make any sense to me. So, yeah, I don't think that you should only depend on trading. However, I do genuinely believe that you can build 
income and wealth from trading. I do genuinely believe that all Jamaicans can trade Forex. However, Jamaicans have to acknowledge that it is an opportunity instead of being skeptic towards it. Because I find that most Jamaicans now are mostly skeptics, irrespective of the fact that they are able to go and see real results in person. They'll still go back and be like, ah, oh, nah, maybe it's not for me, maybe it's not for me. But in reality, you'll find that if they take the time to be one with themselves in a sense where understanding themselves fully, because trading is a mental game. Trading is not just black and white because you, every each, well, each individual can go and get the same content, but still produce different results. You understand? So we can go in the same session and look at the same content and be taught by the same individual but then when we go into the market, it's a different thing. Even if we enter at the same price, enter for the same direction. Because you, you have one person who will more than likely have the trade, make $5 and be like, all right, I'm out. Because they can't manage the anxiety and the stress. But then you have another individual who's calm and who can understand that, all right, all I need to do is just be patient, hold out, because this will basically skyrocket. And all I have to do is just be calm and understand that I'm sticking to my plan, which suggests that it will skyrocket. So even if I see it go up to $5 and then dip, I'm not going to come out. I'm just going to be patient and stick to my plan. And that has to do with each individual's mindset. Most importantly, I would tell you and I would suggest keenly that you take your time. It is not an overnight success. It is not a rush. There's nothing that you can gain from in just rushing into it. I took two years myself learning it and basically reinforcing all the fundamentals. I took time to basically research the content before I even went into getting into the content because knowing the industry and knowing which industry you're getting into is equally important and knowing the, as well as knowing the content for that industry. So I basically took time to do my research and then delve into the content took a whole two years. For some people, maybe long. Some people, they only took months. Some people only took days. However, I took the time required for myself because I knew that it was not an overnight. So it was not something that I had to rush into because when you think long term, you want to ensure that you cement good habits because cementing good habits is ensuring that in the future, you do all those things seamlessly. So I took that time and in taking that time, it, it provided me with a sense of self-belief that I now knew confidently what I was doing. I didn't have to go and check with a mentor or anybody, even though having a mentor in that process is equally important because having a mentor will allow you to get feedback if you're doing anything wrong, you know, if you are to do something better, if you are to do something more, having that mentor will allow you to basically as i said just get feedback and getting feedback in anything that you're doing is, is very 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 important so as i said it's not a process for you to rush take your time take your time go through the content go through whatever you need to go through because as i said earlier in the interview trading is also a mental game and some people they can get the content but then they start trading and then it's just and you're like, what? But then they don't see that it's a mental thing, that if you're not mentally prepared to hold on to certain things, then you, it doesn't make sense because you're gonna go in a trade and your anxiety is gonna kick up, you know, some sort of emotions, you get me? And you, you, you have to be con in control of emotions and doing stuff like that takes time. It's not overnight, you wake up the next day and say, oh, my anxiety now affect me today. <laughs> Nah, you have to be able to acknowledge things and certain traits that you have within your own self and then take the time to work on those things to ensure that when you're going into the market, whenever that is, or however, after how many years or months, you know that you are confident in yourself because you know that, yes, I worked on this and I've been showing myself results over a consistent period. And yeah, once you do that, because self-belief is really it, bro. So once you take the time to, to, to fully believe in your abilities and yourself, then, you know, 
you just do your thing. Forex is the future. I'm not sure, and this is such a vague example, but have you seen that? I don't, I'm not sure you remember a movie called Wall-E. That movie basically resonated the thought that in the future, everybody will be on their phones just going ahead and plugging in. Because it will just be a time where the mass will continue to realize more and more and see that they are the ones who can also dictate the movement of price, not just the big banks. The more and more people see that they can make change to that, they'll hop on and they'll be profitable and I don't see it stopping. I really don't see it stopping.